They have itched, they have scratched, they have photographed it, and they have complained. And all of the people who got this painful rash have one thing in common. They sat on a bench at a popular bar in downtown St. Pete. Fox 13's Jordan Bowen joining us live now from that bar, Pelican Pub. So, Jordan, we do know that the health department is investigating this uh, bench rash. Yeah, that's right, Chris. They did an inspection here earlier today. After the inspection, a company spokesperson came out and talked to us and did confirm they did find one live bed bug inside the restaurant and one dead bed bug inside the restaurant after the inspection. Now, this all started after a customer filed a complaint with the health department complaining of a rash she got on her back. She believes she got it from sitting in a bench, sitting on a bench inside the Pelican Pub. She posted about this on Facebook, and in just a matter of days, as many as 50 other people people posted in this comment chain with their own photos of their own rashes saying the same thing happened to them. Here's some photos of the rashes. Now all of them say they discovered it a day or so after going to the Pelican Pub and sitting on the same bench. The company says they're now planning to rip out the bench and replace it. They also say they're going to treat the inside of the bar for bugs and pesticides before and after they remove the bench. Previously, customers were allowed to draw on the walls and the benches with markers. They say that's no longer going to be the, going to be the case out of concerns that the markers used may have also contributed to these rashes. Any time that there is a patron or a customer that is in any jeopardy from a safety standpoint, that's a big deal. And the owners of the Pelican Pub take that very seriously. Um, that's why they're going to such you know, immediate measures. Now, as they work to replace the bench and treat the inside for bugs, they say they are going to voluntarily close down just for a few days, they say, and they plan to reopen once all of those measures are completed. No word yet on exactly when they could reopen. Chris? Okay, quite a story there. Thank you. Jordan Bowen, live for us in St. Pete. Thanks, Jordan.